We come from countries all over the world. We are all different, young and old, families and single parents. But we all have the same story. We are seeking safety. New language, new culture, a new community. The new journey has started. I'm from uh, Kyiv area. It's a beautiful tiny village surrounded by the most beautiful forest. I had a perfect life. So it is very hard. This war, it's like when you've been uprooted from your family, from your friends, from your life, actually. Yeah, I was working for the British Embassy. The hope was that to work for a better Afghanistan, a better future. But unfortunately, the events unfolded and things changed. My life in Syria was amazing. I was living with all my family and all my friends there. Then the war started and I had to leave immediately. Somos una familia salvadoreña. Mi esposo, nuestros cuatro hijos y yo vinimos al Reino Unido en el 2020 por motivos de inseguridad en nuestro país, por lo cual se exponían nuestras vidas a la muerte. I experienced feelings and emotions that I never had before in my life. Your body is here, but your soul, your heart, all your thoughts is still in, in that country. Emotionally, it is hard. For a refugee, uh, you are just in the middle of a new culture, new society, where you're lost till you find back yourself, till you find back your society. We are Syrian. We are living here. We are part of this community. But, you know, we forced to leave our country. It wasn't something in our hand. And we did not leave our countries because we don't like it. We leave it for a reason. Being a refugee took me, like, too much years to be in the right route again to achieve my dreams. And I know, like, back in my country, I will have different dreams. So it's just hard. <laughs> I know, it's just really hard. I say, Aida, you have to be a strong lady. You have to believe in yourself and decide to keep going. Don't give up. Me and my wife, definitely we had this idea that for the kids, they noticed that women can do whatever you want. But that level of confidence is changing for my daughters. You see that, that now there's no limit, that now we are equal. You know, Yusuf uh, was not born in Syria. He was born in Lebanon and Jad was born in the UK. So it's really hard to know what our culture. As a mom, I have to teach my children in our cultures. For example, when we wake up in the morning, we have to pray. Even this prayer is like giving us energy, giving us happiness. You see two sides of the mirror. The one side you see that you lost a lot, and the other side you see the hope. You will do better, especially for your next generation, for your kids. So that, that, that's what refugee is. One generation sacrifice to be able to give the hope and security to his next generations. My name is Yusuf Alhamdan. I'm seven years old. I like to play football outside with my friends and my brother. And when I grow up, I'm going to be a doctor. For my children, when I arrive to the UK, I tell them, this is good city and safe country. You have to finish your education. I'm just here to help you, to encourage you, to do whatever you want to do it. Coming to a safe place, when you have this feeling that at least now my kids are safe, now we arrived somewhere, definitely that's a good feeling. Ahora nos llena de felicidad y tranquilidad de ver a nuestros hijos jugar con libertad y seguridad. Y lo maravilloso es ver cómo su desarrollo emocional está mejorando paso a paso. I am studying at college and working in a job that I love. 
helping other families as they arrive and start their new journey here in Lancashire. Sometimes when you are in the darkest place, you think that you have been buried, but actually you have been planted.